Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for him at the station. Percy arrived. Hello, sir. I'm almost ready for the big game, he said. Good. The soccer game starts soon, so finish your job quickly so you can pick up the important guests, said Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, sir, said Percy. However, nearby, Thomas had overheard the conversation. Why does he want Percy to do an important job like that? I'm the most useful engine, he thought. Percy then arrived. Hi, Thomas, said Percy. I'm pulling an important coach later. Oh, um, wow, said Thomas. Have fun. And he reversed off. Hmm, he was acting strangely, thought Percy. But he continued with his job. Thomas then had a naughty idea. It involved five trucks. He reversed into them and left. He headed towards the track crossing that Percy had to use. Something was about to happen. Percy crashed into Thomas's trucks. Oh no, I'm sorry Percy, said Thomas. It's okay, said Percy. Oh, how am I going to pull an important coach now? I'll do it, said Thomas. Yeah, I guess you should, sighed Percy. However, Nearby, Edward had watched the whole thing. Thomas left to get ready. He had dressed Annie, Clarabelle and himself up for the match. Hello sir, said Thomas. Percy crashed, so I'm pulling that important coach instead. Oh, OK, said Sir Topham Hat. The guests are waiting at Wellsworth Station. OK, said Thomas, and he went to go and pick them up. On his journey, he ran into Edward. Hello, Edward, said Thomas. Hello, Thomas, said Edward. I see you're pulling Percy's important coaches. You do know Percy worked extra hard this week just to be able to pull those coaches. He was really looking forward to it. Oh, I didn't know that, said a sad Thomas. He realised that what he'd done was wrong, and he had to make it up to Percy. So instead of going to Wellsworth, he went back to Percy. Let's get you back on the track so you can take guests to the soccer match, said Thomas. Oh, thank you, Thomas, said Percy. So Thomas coupled up to Percy's trucks and pulled Percy back onto the track. But I don't have my coaches. I'll never make it in time, said Percy. Don't worry, take Annie and Clarabel, said Thomas. Oh, thank you, Thomas, said Percy. So he coupled up to them and left. Edward then arrived. Well done Thomas, you did the right thing, he said. So they watched Percy pick up his important guests. Hi I'm Dave, and thanks for watching my video. Here's another you may have missed. were on their way to work. Knapford Station needed a new signal system and the Minions were going to install it. Wait a minute, that's Tom Moss the prank engine, the naughtiest engine ever made. Good morning Tom, I see you like bananas. <laughs> What's that? They're a new super fuel for engines. I think you're playing another prank, but I don't know what. I'll see you later.
the first minions arrived at Knapford and got to work. More minions arrived. Having surveyed the station from all angles, the first of the signals arrived. signals were quickly put in place and the second set arrived. These two were quickly installed. With the job finished, the minions left. In the direction of Tom Moss and collected some bananas each. I thought he was up to his usual tricks. What did you get the minions to do for you, Tom Moss? <laughs> Natford returned to its normal busy self. James arrived and stopped, and then Murdoch. James left, but then there was trouble. Charlie had been sent down the same track. What a crash! Poor old James. Then there was more trouble. Percy had been sent down the wrong track and crashed into murder. I think someone had put the signals in wrong. Thomas arrived and was very cross. Then he caught a glimpse of Tom Moss peeking out from the tunnel. He realised that Tom Moss had promised the minions their favourite food, bananas, if they mixed up the signals. Thomas steamed off. Tom realised he'd been seen and made a run for it. He was too fast for Thomas and made it back to his forest. 